What's up everybody? I'm Morgan Crosby. Welcome to Cars and Crosby. I have an awesome delivery video for you today. We're going to be going through all the awesome features that are on the fully loaded Z51 in Rapid Blue. There are some items that still have not arrived yet, but we wanted to let this customer enjoy the vehicle and also get the break-in stage done before we put on the rest of the features. Instead of having this vehicle stay here for us to all look at, we want to make sure that these customers can get out on the road and enjoy them. So without further ado, let's go through this vehicle right now and show you all the awesome accessories that have been put on it. Okay, so without further ado, let's start picking apart this vehicle from the front to the back. The first thing that we see are the exposed carbon fiber inserts for the front here. We have the base model Z51 three-piece in the pitted plastic right now splitter. Um, we will be having the 5VM there. It will make a lot more sense, especially having this complemented by the splitter. But for right now, we just have the front inserts. On this vehicle, we tried to break up the, the rapid blue by having this dual racing stripe through it. Um, it's done a really great job and also some comments have shown me that there is more than one secondary color. I talked about it in a previous video how carbon flash metallic is, um, is the uh, secondary color on this vehicle and that exposed carbon fiber was the secondary color on this one. You guys called me out on it. You guys are right. There is two secondary colors on this one because there is still a lot of accents in carbon flash metallic and even this racing stripe is in carbon flash metallic as well. So um, I apologize, you guys are right. This has got two secondary colors on it and it will make a lot more sense once all the options are bit fitted onto the vehicle. The mirror caps here are also in exposed carbon fiber and they do a really good job at bringing the outside of the vehicle into the inside. And what I mean by that is, is if you look, you'll see that there is exposed carbon fiber on the bezels here and then also on the GT2 seats and the door. And having your mirrors in exposed carbon fiber as well help with bringing the uh, the styling points from the outside onto the inside. The seat belts and the accents from the tension blue also complement this beautiful rapid blue on the outside. The whole car looks like it was a design package from the factory, and that's what we were trying to go for. On the calipers, you'll see that we have the yellow put on here, and the main reason why we want to do that is to make sure that people know that this is a special Corvette. I wanted to um, make sure that this customer knew that he had a unique vehicle and by having every single option on it and having a different set of laces on his shoes is a great way to have it so that when you are driving down the street and you see somebody with another rapid blue out there, you know that yours is different. And that's the beauty of the Corvette is you can accessorize your Corvette and make it your own. You don't have to worry about having just someone else out there with the same color because you've done lots of different things to accent it. Even though these two vehicles are the exact same trim level with the exact same packages on it this one is completely different now that we've added a lot of packages it will look even further better once we have the z51 high spoiler and then also the exposed carbon fiber rocker panels but that's for a later day on the back of the vehicle you'll see that the racing stripes follow all the way through and the spoiler also has this on here, which I'm quite happy to see. I'm um, not experienced with the high wing yet, and I am interested to see if they do have, um, because this was ordered from the factory, the dual racing stripes on the high wing spoiler as well, as they do have it on the Z51 base spoiler here. All of the accents on the back end here are in carbon flash metallic. We have all of our vents that have been done in that as well. And then you can also get your first look at the splash guards that are on the Corvette. This is a great way to keep this, um, the dirt and stuff from off the vehicle. If you look at a side profile of the Corvette, you'll notice that the wheels do stick out a little bit, about a quarter of an inch. And so by having these splash guards on here, I have a feeling that this is gonna greatly reduce the amount of stuff that gets kicked up onto the side of the Corvette. So we'll follow up with that in a later date, but we do wanna know that this one does have the splash guards as well. Another feature that's inside of this Corvette is the new mats. These have got a really cool, um, design on them but they also have two different materials i'm really interested to see if this helps out with transitioning in and out of the corvette uh, allowing for the um the shoes to maybe get all their um, little rocks and stuff that might be in your tread uh, off and then having it so that you have a nice uh, grippy surface for when you're driving in the vehicle because this is very smooth and almost plush this here has got almost like a heavy knit in it that will hold all the dirt and rocks and stuff um I'm really sad to see this go, but at the same time, I know that there's gonna be plenty of time to see it when it comes back in on after adventures in the future. If you guys are interested in learning more about the accessories, please don't hesitate to give me a shout or a comment in the section below. Please hit the subscribe button on your way out and thanks a lot and happy motoring.